Paul Westcott back here on WGIR AM 610 and 96.7 The Wave, bringing you the biggest news from New Hampshire to New England and beyond, and talking to us now about a fantastic organization within the state of New Hampshire, and I'm more than happy to endorse this because it's something that it brings more information, more visibility to some of these candidates, and really talking local issues with local people is the Live Free or Die, uh, Die Alliance. LiveFreeOrDieAlliance.org is the website, and joining us now with that organization is Tiffany Eddy. Tiffany, how are you doing this morning? Hey, great. Thanks for having me on, Paul. Hey, it's it's my pleasure. And this is something that I have to say, I, I love the, the idea of it, New Hampshire's Virtual Town Hall. Tell people who have never heard of this what it's all about. I know it's, it's really a pleasure to be part of such a wonderful organization. This is, this is an organization, it's a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization basically designed to serve New Hampshire citizens by providing objective information about the issues and the candidates and also promoting a civil exchange of just opinions in a variety of forums online and connecting citizens to their elected officials. And coming up to the election, we have this part on our website uh, called Election Central where people can go and they can, um, on the pull-down menu, click, and they can find information on all the candidates who are running for elected office in New Hampshire um, on the state level and also on the national level. So if you're if you're in Concord and you want to see who's running for the state legislature, who's running to be your state senator, you can go there, get the information. Mm-hmm. You can find out who they are, their bio, if they've held office previously, what their voting record is, and get the information you need to figure out who you want to vote for in the upcoming election. It's, all, it, it's a fantastic, re- it's like a clearinghouse for all the information. And if you just go to that election central tab, uh, I just clicked on it, and you, you just scroll down, and I, I went to, I happened to go to the gubernatorial race here in New Hampshire, which is something we've covered extensively, and you see Maggie Hassan, Ovid LaMontagne, you see all the information about them, some of their experience, some of their background, uh, links to their campaign websites, and then, of course, uh, a nice bio put together uh, by Live Free or Die Alliance. Now, tell me, have you gotten any complaints or anything about bias, left or right, this or that, or has it been pretty much overwhelmingly positive? It, it's been incredibly positive, and really the, the beauty of it, and our founders, if you look at who the founders of the Live Free or Die Alliance are, it's really a group of people from both sides who decided to get people more civically engaged. So there's, there's no agenda. The information that we gathered on the, um, on the candidates was we sent out surveys to have them fill out, so some of it's their own information. We went to the New Hampshire General Court for voting records in the Secretary of State's office, and so really what we did is we, we amassed this information with the tools that were already out there. But what we tried to do is we tried to just make it easy. And given the complexities in everyone's life and how busy everyone is, is we just put it together in one simple area where people can go and made it easy so that they can find this information and figure out who it is that they feel strongly that they want to align for or what issues they want to learn more about to make an informed decision to move forward. So we, we carry no agenda. We are vig- vigorously, non, uh, vigorously nonpartisan and uh, just really, really want to give people the tools to be engaged citizens. Once again, folks, the site is livefreeordiealliance.org, and uh, we'll have it linked on our site, WGIRAM.com or 967thewave.com. And you, you go through some of these, and it's not just statewide, it's not just presidential, it's not just Senate races or anything like that. We're talking down to House races, and you click on, and I, I was, I, I have to say, I was a little bit of a skeptic, Tiffany. Now, you know, it's just, it's, it's the, uh, it's just part of me being a little bit of a journalist, but I go into it, I'm thinking there's not going to be much on any of these House guys. In individual house races, floaterial districts, down to some of the more localized districts. You go to it, and there's information on every single candidate out there. How did you guys put this together? I mean, this must have taken quite a bit of work. It does take an incredible amount of work, and we're fortunate to have had a staff and volunteers and uh, interns who have spent hours going through the information, making phone calls to the candidates themselves, to the Secretary of State's office, New Hampshire General Court looking over these surveys and then putting the information on our website so that it's easy to find and available to Granite State uh, citizens. And, you know, one of the other parts of the site that I do also like is the uh, hot issues thing where, or, I'm sorry, thing, it's a tab. <laughs> it's part of the website. It's great. And it lists uh, gay marriage repeal, no child left behind, medical marijuana, school funding, uh, Obamacare, and New Hampshire. And then you have a, a, a segment where you could suggest an issue. Is this meant to be interactive as well with people who might be uh, interested in participating in this? 
Absolutely, because it's all about engagement, and so it's giving people an avenue where they can learn more and also engage their opinion. There's also a town hall forum where people who are members, they can, it's, it's free to join, um, and you don't have to be a member to look at our information, but if you want to participate in our town hall forum, we ask that you become a member, and you can post your opinions. And we do have a moderator to make sure that um, everything stays civil, the conversation remains civil, uh, so it's, it's a wonderful way to express your views with other Granite Staters who you might not be able to see. You might not be able to go down to town hall and, and talk to them. They might be across the state. But it's a really wonderful way for people to express different ideas and different beliefs and uh, keep uh, civic engagement alive and well. All right. Well, Tiffany Eddy with the Live Free or Die Alliance. It's livefreeordiealliance.org online. New Hampshire's virtual town hall, and that's certainly what it is in an age where nonpartisan websites or media or things that are not attached to any party or affiliation uh, are hard to come by. This is something that you can find online, livefreeordiealliance.org. Thanks again, Tiffany, for coming on. Oh, thank you so much for having me. We really hope that people do check out the Live Free or Die Alliance before Election Day and just to see what they can learn and get out and vote because, really, civic engagement is the key to our society. Get out and vote. I love it. That is certainly the theme over the next eight days here on the Paul Westcott Show. We're going to take a brief time out. We'll be back so much more coming up here on AM 610, 96.7, The Wave.